victory in this one can go some way to making up for the disappointments of the season overall. That's the Birmingham lineup, and it includes five players who were on the treatment table yesterday, but shows the absence of Wright and Broadhurst, who are both injured, and Mick Harford, who is suspended. So it's a reshuffled lineup of uh, club trying to find its way following their cup defeat at the hands of Watford. Aston Villa stick with the lineup, which brought only their second league win away from home at Sunderland last uh, Saturday. So that means there's no place for Dennis Mortimer or for Nigel Spink. And the choice of the man in goal really highlights the ups and downs of a footballer's life. Ten years ago, 18-year-old Mervyn Day, playing for West Ham United, was one of the most promising goalkeepers in the country. Oh, what a save! That was a fantastic save! His body moved, and I'm pretty sure his feet never did. Oh, Mervyn Day, what a save! He was made Young Player of the Year in 1975, went to Wembley and won a cup winner's medal and played in Europe. But his career from then went down. He left West Ham for Orient in 1979. And Aston Villa restored him to the first division last summer. And here he is, now keeping out an England hopeful of a decade later in Nigel Spink. This year's cup final referee, John Hunting of Leicester, is the man in charge this afternoon. And no doubt aware, like everybody else here, that the equivalent fixture at Villa Park produced one sending off and a total of six bookings. Since their defeat by Watford, Birmingham City have achieved two draws on this ground and lost at Stoke. And before they uh, were beaten by Watford, they'd had a run of 12 games without defeat. And their supporters doubt this would feel this is an ideal opportunity to get back to winning ways. Birmingham attacking the goal to our left. And Villa have pulled all back by Peter Wyrth. But no chance for the new player, Brian Roberts. And that pass from Van den Haal. Hopkins. And the free kick will be given for that. Hopkins, a man who has a poor disciplinary record, to put it mildly this season, indeed, was up before a commission on Monday with a total of 41 points, and he's been suspended no fewer than three times. Gibson himself will take the kick. Met by Blake. Paul Blake, who was involved in an incident after the derby match at Villa Park which led to him being fined £200 for bringing the game into disrepute. Mark Walters, go kick. Gibson, whose foot was high, and caught McCarrick's back. Roberts deciding to leave it to Martin Cool. Gale waiting forward. And here is Gale, and was Evans tripped? Good stuff from the goalkeeper. Gale suddenly got away. Here's Gale. And again, out by McMahon. Hopkins. Roberts. Blake is up in the box, left of the penalty spot. Gale. Birmingham keep the pressure on. Stevenson! Lovely goal, after sustained pressure from Birmingham. A goal in the ninth minute, 
by Byron Stevenson. Gale seemed to be involved in everything then. And Villa never really recovered from the moment that Evans seemed to trip. So Stevenson's second goal of the season, and it gives the home side the lead with nine minutes of this derby match gone. One goal was enough at Villa Park to give Villa the victory. Well, this one has come rather earlier than that one did by the man on the ball there, Peter With. Curvishly. Evans. Ormsby. Oh, he's done well. Found With. Said it was too strong and rather behind Williams. But the supporters a bit pensive. and Roberts with right out is in the middle so it's with well he was more than a little unlucky he did well to bide his time then Peter with in an effort to keep the ball down from Walters cross and it was more than a foot above the crossbar. The win there is, is playing in uh, Villa's favour. Every so often, that's moving the flags and the linesman's flag quite strongly. And the kick given, or something said, I think. Evans has taken up a position on the left. On the right is Walters. Oh, good save! Evans and Olsby in together. And it was really a powerful header. And I must say, Coton did very well to take that as cleanly as he did. Hagen. Offside against Gale. And Gale indicating he wants the ball earlier. Positioning my Blake. Nice turn, Peter Wynn. Made by Rideouts with a lovely curling cross. And Peter Wynn. Coming in on the far post to make it one apiece. And it's Peter With's 20th goal of the season. 1 1 with 29 minutes gone. A great 
great contrast around the ground. Those who were cheering are now silent, and suddenly it's those who've been quiet who are now cheering. That was handball. Referee played the advantage, which didn't work for Villa. Stevenson. He certainly had no time to think about his son's problem on the tennis court. He's playing again this afternoon. It's been a full-time job for John Hunting this match. And he ends the first half with the score at one apiece. With Stevenson giving Birmingham the lead after nine minutes. And Peter with equalising for Aston Villa 20 minutes later. Birmingham City's home record in the league this season shows six wins and six defeats with four draws. But the feeling was after starting the better in the first half that Aston Villa finished it on top. First free kick of the second half. Evans and Gale picking up where they left off. Now a bit of space for Gale. Chased by Williams. Stay to narrow the angle. But the ball nestles in the back of the net. And he's going to melt that right up on the railings. Getting the applause. Particularly from the youngsters. But within a minute of the restart. Gale finding himself in some space on the left and he took full advantage of it. So Birmingham in front for the second time. Fixture which they won last season, ending a run of three consecutive away wins by Aston Villa. Right out, up comes Birch, away by Halsell. though the cross was McMahon Birch Blake oh! and Coton did very very well to recover didn't work Blake passed it to the goalkeeper who had already come Hopkins on and here's Gale and Day Just got to it in time, at some cost to his arms. But might be wondering how it is that such space is allowed. All part of a goalkeeper's life. Mervyn Day. 423rd senior appearance, which includes nine matches in the European Cup Winners' Cup. And West Ham were beaten in the final by Anderlecht that year. Gale and Evans all cleanly away. How Gale, what a lovely stride. And Hopkins unable to apply the finishing touch. And a great pressure from Gibson and Ormsby. 
But how cleanly past his man did Howard Gale go then. Didn't break stride. Just took the bend like a thoroughbred. Evans. Ormsby. Good job he got a connection there, otherwise Villa would have been in trouble. Waters. McMahon wants it forward. Waters wants to hold on. And he gets in another good cross. And Coton somehow manages to take it on the second time of asking to deny Paul right up. Really hovered at full reach then. And as he fell back, he was able to hang on. Stevenson. Hopkins. Came off Ormsby. pushing each other around. That was a better flick from Ormsby. Oh, not a good clearance. No right out. Stevenson, Ormsby, Stevenson, Gibson. With Walters. Chance for the substitution. There's Bremner to replace a man who's been somewhat in the wars right for the first minute of the match, Colin Gibson. And Bremner, I think, is going across the play right back, leaving Gary Williams to move to the left. Battle forward again. One by Blake. McMahon, Kervishly. McMahon, right out. Handball. Blake taking a grab at the ball. From a half-lying position. Villa putting two players to the left. Two to the right. Three at the moment on the ball. Now Williams makes it three to the left. Walters just behind the wall. Every man marked. Gale taking Walters, leaving Blake free. With... It was an almighty thump. But wide. To his obvious disappointment. The hunting has had a signal from both his linesmen. And so the derby matches between the two end with a home victory apiece at the end of a bruising, demanding contest. Birmingham City 2, Aston Villa 1. <laughs>